So here is how my medicine gets delivered to me by FedEx, just delivered it and dropped it off. It says rush, perishable, insulated, because it has to be kept refrigerated, which is why I have a real fridge in my trailer. Not an icebox anymore. So, pick ticket, I have to sign that and send it back to say yes I got it. And then I put a little cool pack inside here. Here, ice packs down the bottom, they should put ice packs on top, refrigerate, and there's four weeks worth of my medicine. So that goes straight into the fridge, and I'm due for it tomorrow, so I'll show you what it looks like inside. So when I open up the packet, there's one syringe in each box, and pamphlets that are like a mile long that will scare the hell out of you if you ever read them and as you can see the needle is a preloaded with a spring in it so what happens is when I finish plunging the plunger all the way in and getting all the medicine into me which you can just sort of see through that little window there then the actual needle springs back inside the syringe which obviously is a safety feature so that nobody gets um, needle stick injuries or anything and then when I'm finished it I obviously put it into my sharps container so that's an Actemra needle that's my once weekly dose and I'll show you how it's done okay so I'm just about to go to the gym so excuse the no makeup and uh, hair and a mess because I just wanted to show you how I do my Actemra needle and I've been meaning to do it all day, but I take it out of the fridge about half an hour to an hour before I take it because it's just not as unpleasant going in if it's not freezing cold. So that's a good thing. And I can do it in the top of my thigh, like around this area or in my stomach. It's a subcutaneous injection, which means just under the fat layer. So I find that the thigh is just a little bit too muscly. It hurts a little bit going in there, but my belly, my belly jelly, I can pretty much guarantee I'll get a soft spot. So um, I tend to prefer it in there, although I kind of alternate. I go, because it has to be in a different spot each time. Well, you know, not in the same place in two weeks. So I go from right belly to right thigh to left thigh to left belly. And I kind of work my way around in circles like that. So, and I'm a real sook when it comes to it, but it just, you just pinch a bit. And um, I don't know some people like jab it into themselves super fast, but I'm a bit more gentle than that. I just slide it in nice and gentle. Um, a lot better, this Actemra needle, I much prefer it to the Humira. Humira, it was like a, um, like a pen thing that you click the red button and I always used to give myself a fright with that button because it made an almighty bang and then, um, yeah, sometimes I used to sort of flinch and jump back and worry that I wasn't going to get the needle inside me because I was getting such a fright. So, this I much prefer because it's much more um, controlled. So I'm just pushing the, the green lever and then I the, to press the button, the green button, just nice and slow so it's not a big um, sudden burst of medicine in one hit. There's only 0.9 mils I think it is in there or 9 mils or anyway. It's a tiny, tiny amount. It's not very much at all. So I'm just about done. It doesn't hurt at all. Not like Actemra, it doesn't sting or burn or anything like that. So as I push that last bit down and slide the needle out and it actually spring loads it back inside so you can see that that's, um, the needle is actually all nicely inside the case and you know, you're supposed to put a band-aid on and use alcohol wipes and all this kind of stuff but whatever. <laughs> I kind of do my medicine the way I cook. I just sort of <laughs> chuck it in there. She'll be right, mate. All right, so there you have it. I'm done for another week. Hallelujah. Um, I'll usually feel a little bit tired the next day. So I've been finding that if I do, if I do the injection on a Wednesday, um, it's kind of best for me because I'm working on the weekend at rallies all the time, going to all these vintage trailer rallies. And honestly, I don't want to be exhausted and tired. So doing it on the weekend or Friday or Saturday or Sunday, um, it's not good and I'm often driving home on a Sunday or Monday so Wednesday kind of was the middle of the week so the tiredness would hit me more um, tonight and 
Thursday, which is fine. Um, although last week I drove on a Thursday and tomorrow I'm driving to another rally as well on a Thursday, but, um, but they're not very far away. So that's not too bad at all, but yeah. So that's what I do to myself every week. Um, if I don't do that, I literally can't walk. Um, the pain starts setting in towards the end of the week as the injection starts wearing off. So, you know, yesterday and today, a little bit sore when I wake up, my fingers get a little bit stiff and sore and my toes and ankles and, you know, a little bit sore. But honestly, compared to what it was like before Actemra, oh, gosh, there is no comparison, to be honest with you, because um, I was literally just in excruciating pain every day and couldn't walk and could barely get out of bed. And now the only thing I notice really, apart from a little bit of niggles and soreness and stiffness, is just absolute exhaustion. It really literally feels like there's never enough hours in the day for me to get things done. And I'm, I feel like I'm doing everything as fast as I can, but it's like I'm going in slow motion all the time. So that gets frustrating for me um, because I used to be such a hyperactive person and achieved so much in a day. So, so if you see me sometimes at a rally and I've disappeared and I've drawn the curtains and um, put a do not disturb sign out the front it's probably because I'm just resting because I do find that I need to rest a bit more often so um, but I do still go to the gym and I'm about to go to the gym now so I better um, get moving but yeah just wanted to fill you in on that update on my medicine and it has to be kept in the refrigerator so that's why I had to get an, um, a proper fridge put in to the trailer rather than um, just the old ice box so um, when I'm traveling and I'm on the road and yeah hi pixie yes my baby girl she says I know you just did your needle I'm coming to give you some love <laughs> she's my angel so um, yeah I have to keep it cold and sometimes when I'm on the road for a couple of weeks I have to take a few with me so or like the big Texas trip when I was on the road for seven weeks I had to take quite a bit of medicine with me so and um, it gets delivered to me once a month so I usually am try to be home when that happens Otherwise, they have actually sent it to me out of state sometimes when I was just couldn't couldn't be here to pick it up Like when I was on the way back from Texas, they sent it to my friend in Flagstaff. So Yeah, you're such a good girl looking after your mama. Hey, yeah She comes galloping after me. She knows when it's needle time. So she's um, she's a very perceptive little girl. So anyway, that's goodbye from me And that's goodbye from Pixie and we'll see you next time